I, Kimberly Wexler, do solemnly swear that as an attorney and as a counselor of this court, I will conduct myself uprightly and according to law. I will maintain civility at all times and abstain from all offensive personality. Hey guys, Pete here. I have really been loving the new teasers they've been putting together for the last six episodes of Better Call Saul. And today I'm going to talk about the new one that just came out. They've been great because they don't give anything away, but still manage to make you think about the biggest questions that are left to answer. They work so well because we know so much about these complicated characters, but even with that information, it's really hard to put together what might happen at the end of this series. I suppose they can't really show any new footage because so much is riding on what happens immediately after the closing shot of episode 7. And so, unsurprisingly, this teaser is directly connected to that. I'm going to talk about that and all I've been thinking about since seeing it. So if any of that sounds spoilery to you, then this is your chance to leave. The teaser is fairly simple. It's a continuous shot of the candle in Jimmy and Kim's living room burning, while Kim recites what sounds like a lawyer's oath in voiceover. The image of the candle tells us that this is probably right after Howard's death because it doesn't appear to be all that much shorter than the last time we saw it, and now it does have his blood on it. There is a hint of it flickering again at the end. This effect added so much to the scene when it happened for Howard's arrival and then again for Lalo, but there's no way of telling why it's happening again. The words she says aren't terribly important since it's more about the idea of what becoming a lawyer means. I did look up the attorney's oath from New Mexico, which is a little longer and in a different order, but I would say that they were going for something like that, a version that would fit nicely into a scene. To me, it doesn't sound like something she would say if she was testifying in court. One of the first things I thought about was the finale of season four, which opened with Jimmy becoming a lawyer. In that scene, you saw that Chuck was there to vouch for his brother, and it would make sense since Kim worked for HHM and they helped pay for her education that Howard might be there to vouch for her. What seems like the most popular theory stems from that. The idea is that there will be a cold open flashback where we watch her become a lawyer with Howard by her side. This would be dramatic considering in the present he's lying dead in her living room because of something that she did. But I think if that turns out to be the case, then it would have to tell us something new about the characters. We already know Kim will be conflicted about what happened to Howard. There was the scene with Cliff where she earnestly detailed how she wouldn't be where she was without his help. All the planning that went into D-Day was about her believing they could pull it off to get exactly what they wanted with minor consequences that would amount to Howard being humiliated but still able to bounce back. Jimmy brought this up in the confrontation before Lalo arrived and Howard agreed that he would be able to recover. And I have to take a minute to tell you about today's sponsor, because no matter what happens in the rest of this season, or to zoom out even further, no matter what else is going on in the world, everyone's got to eat. That's why HelloFresh is here to make eating better, easier. No grocery stores, no stressful meal planning, just everything you need to prepare wholesome, delicious meals all delivered to your door. And that's the thing, I love to cook, we make most of our meals at home, but planning is a chore. We usually buy way too much when we go shopping, and sometimes it's hard just to come up with new ideas. You can get mouthwatering seasonal recipes and fresh, pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door with Hello fresh america's number one meal kit hello fresh makes cooking at home fun easy and affordable hello fresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week so you'll never end up in a recipe rut don't waste money on foods you don't need all hello fresh recipes come with pre-portioned ingredients to make sure you have just the right amount for each recipe those pre-portioned ingredients mean less prep for you and less wasted food Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code june 16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases.
So I don't think that we need to be reminded of who Kim and Howard are to each other, or that she might not be okay with the unintended consequence of him dying as a result of their scam. I think there would have to be more, maybe something that happens between them at the courthouse or afterward. A situation or an event that reveals something about one of these two characters. And in a way, it would almost have to be about Kim because Howard's story is pretty well complete. That said, there are only a couple of other options. It could be something that they had Ray Seahorn come in and record specifically for this teaser. It does work to remind us where Kim was emotionally at the end of the midseason finale. And I mean, here I am making a video about this because it got me thinking. Still, I don't think that's the case because this is similar to the first teaser they put out where Jimmy mentions a happy ending. I already made a whole video about that. And to me, it felt like that was dialogue that we would eventually hear in an episode. It was more of a when rather than if we'd hear it kind of situation. This feels the same, but I did think I should bring that up because you never know. The other option is that Kim is somewhere else. She's no longer in Albuquerque, and now she has to get a state bar license there. I'm not an expert on how any of this works, but after Googling around a bit, feel confident that if you want to practice law in different states, you will probably be required to pass the bar in the new state you move to. It looks like there's a uniform bar exam that exists in New Mexico now that allows you to practice in a few states, but they didn't start using that until 2016. And I think this is what's most interesting about this is that the first teaser with the apartment seemed to be for the two of them as a couple. The second one, which I haven't made a video about yet, makes you think about who Jimmy is and what turning back to Saul during the Gene timeline might mean, which at that point, the next logical question is whether there's any Jimmy left behind in there as well. That brings up the idea of characters that can be more than one thing at the same time. And this teaser focuses more on Kim, who we don't have nearly as much information about. I'm pretty much in the camp of there's no way she dies in this scene with Lalo. I guess there's an outside chance that could happen, but it would be pretty anticlimactic for all of what they put into this character. For me, the question is why isn't she in Breaking Bad more than will she live or die? We know there's a part of Kim who grew up wanting to be Atticus Finch, an intelligent, respectable character who was committed to justice. We've seen that in her desire to help the less fortunate through her pro bono work. We also know that there's this Giselle side of her that really gets off on the scam, and we most recently saw her choose that over the straight and narrow path when she did the U-turn and skipped the meeting in Santa Fe to make sure D-Day happened. It's hard to say which side wins out now that Lalo has entered the picture. Maybe even harder by the fact that their survival's on the line. Lalo killed Howard because he was in the way, and once he interrogates Jimmy, there's really no reason for him not to kill them and just walk away from the apartment to continue his battle with Gus. That's where his focus is, and after all, they're witnesses who are also connected and know about him skipping bail as Jorge de Guzman. They're gonna have to make themselves too valuable to kill. And in that situation, the Giselle side is likely more useful for her. I tend to think that Jimmy will react to Howard's death in the same way he did to Chuck's. He'll be unable to process it and will likely deal with what's in front of him rather than looking inside and trying to heal. That feels like the path to being the Saul from Breaking Bad full time. But in this immediate aftermath in their apartment, the thing that's currently in front of him is the fact that Kim might be in danger and he has this instinct to protect her. We know that this is what is most important to him. And really, after Howard's death, it's the last remaining connection to the Jimmy McGill part of the story. Plus, he didn't know Lalo was still alive, so he was caught completely off guard and is reacting in real time under major duress, which might also turn out to be important. The last time Lalo showed up at their place, Kim stepped in to rescue her husband who was experiencing PTSD. She was caught off guard and had to come up with something on the spot, but she actually knew ahead of time that this latest interaction might happen. When she met Mike and learned he was alive, it's possible she did nothing because she knew they were watching them and it felt safe enough, but it seems more like her to put a plan together just in case. 
If she did, that could provide a twist, but I'm not sure what that could be. I don't think Kim will be able to overlook Howard's death or stuff it away like Jimmy, but she's not really in a position where she could pull back. Lalo is the one driving now, and as I mentioned, I don't see how he could let them both leave the apartment or even be out of his sight. He could hold one of them as a hostage and let the other make contact with Mike or something like that. Kim has basically put it together that the man that she met at the El Camino is the same one who saved Jimmy in the desert, since they both know him, and this is information Lalo would be interested in. They could give it up, and then they could somehow conspire to wreck his plans. Then, if they were able to pull that off, Gus and Mike would just have to take him out in a way that never got back to Jimmy. Or at least he'd still have to be afraid of him when Walt and Jesse take him out to the desert. I don't know that they have another card to play. The stakes are incredibly high. They know they're dealing with someone who is truly a monster. And outwitting him wouldn't really be enough. So back to the candle and the attorney's oath. They remind us of Howard and Kim's connection. It also makes it feel like her days of practicing law in Albuquerque are over which I guess we always knew was going to happen because we've all seen Breaking Bad. Will the oath be part of a flashback to remind us of what she lost and how she lost it? A flash forward to her practicing law somewhere else away from Jimmy? Or something else entirely? I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I mentioned the characters being able to be two things at the same time. In her case, both Kim and Giselle. It is interesting that before she was working at HHM, she ran away from where she was from to start a better life. At the beginning of this season, it would have seemed that she had built up too much to do the same thing. Even just one episode ago, when she had the meeting set up with Cliff and was celebrating with her husband that she just planned out an amazing scam with. If you had thought about this situation with Giselle's plans going wrong, it seemed possible she might have had a change of heart and decided to take responsibility. Maybe she would end up disbarred or maybe she would end up in prison. That's the kind of character we imagined her to be, but now it isn't as clear and her options are limited. I'm sure she left a lot behind when she ran the first time, but this seems like something completely different. I don't know what will happen next, but the setup has been fantastic. I can't wait to see how it plays out, and I think that's a good place to leave things. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this teaser and what you think will happen next. How will Kim react to Howard's death? And how will it make us feel about the character? Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.